So we all know how important it is to deliver a forward leaning shaft at impact. And I've got a couple different colored tennis balls on there just to illustrate. So as we get into the ball, we want to ensure that the pink ball is in front of the green ball. That's going to take our seven iron, turn it down into a six iron. We're going to compress that ball better. Our body's going to clear and turn out of the way. But here's the, here's the thing with getting there. Okay, if you look from this down the line view, when your hands get to about right hip, we need to ensure that once again, the green ball is behind the pink ball, okay? Or in golf speak, we want to get the center of mass behind the path of the hands. It's the same thing that we're looking for right here. We all know that a bad impact position, you can see the green ball getting in front of the pink. But here's the deal. What I see so many golfers when I put them on video, as they get down to here, they're already like this. You have absolutely zero chance of getting to a good impact position if we get the center of mass out in front of the hands coming down. It's not enough time. We're literally inches from hitting the ball. There's no recovering from there. The weight of the club, the momentum of the swing. Anytime you videotape yourself and your, your club head is outside your hands, we're in big trouble. So a very simple drill to get this position orchestrated and, and in the right spot before we get to impact is just grab the club with your forefinger, your middle finger, just grab it there in the middle of the shaft. And what you're gonna rehearse and feel as you transition the club, you're just putting a little bit of tension here that's going against your body rotation. And as I get down into the hitting area, you can see that the, the, the green ball is behind the pink ball. So that's crucial as I get into impact and I let that club release and go, I'm going to be able to properly line that shaft up to where I have a little bit of shaft lean and my body is clearing, turning, and leading into impact. So that little feel from here to here, as I start to feel that, I feel my right arm go external slightly. I feel a little pull underneath my lead arm and my hips are pushing against the ground, clearing, and I'm delivering that club right to the back of the ball. Once I've got comfortable with that, I can do it with two hands on the club regularly. And I feel that same sensation of the club just trailing and lagging behind. And you'll see it's something, anytime I ask a good player to do this who already kind of does it in their swing, they get up and they do it instantly. As soon as I do a player that, that they don't really know what that feels like or you know what a, what, what a good sensation there is, I start to see this as they come down. They can't control the center of mass or the mass of the shaft in the head and it just starts to instantly go outside their, their hands coming down. And that for sure is going to lead to this type of impact, right? So those simple drills, you do that a couple times, you grab a regular golf club, you maybe rehearse it again, and I'm just very subtly feeling my body grip and turn, and then I'm feeling like my finger is still holding the sweet spot, holding the, the center of mass back as my hands come down slightly ahead. And then we just start off hitting some small shots like that. And I love it because it really helps to smooth out my transition. The club is going back and you can see the club head, it's fine if it's outside of my hands here, but as it comes down, I can feel that change as it comes down. And then you look at all the best players in the world, you'll see typically the, the club head is just behind their hands coming down to this position. And that means for sure, they're going to be in this position at impact. It's a foregone conclusion by that point. So doing some of these little slow, easy drills where you're kind of really just deep practicing, feeling what your body's supposed to do, feeling where the club head is, it can literally change years of over the top, right? Years of casting, putting the club in the ground early, a little bit of scooping. So take a little page, slow motion, get the right feel, take it out to the golf course. I hope that helps you out. Thanks for watching. After thousands of student lessons, I've discovered that the single weakest link in your golf swing is your brain. You see, our brains control all our movement, but as it turns out, they aren't naturally wired for the golf swing. And until you fix this, your body will simply refuse to do what the brain is asking. The good news is there's an easy fix. Since I don't have the time in this short video, I've put together a three-part web class where I walk you through a simple process that will rewire your brain, giving you the control you need for a consistent golf swing. I call it the consistency clinic. 
and you get the entire thing free of charge by clicking the link right here. The training series isn't available anywhere else, so go ahead, click the link right now, and I'll see you on the other side.